So today we are going to carry on with our flower book. In case you missed the beginning of this little series, we are making one of these and it's like an accordion book. It just opens up and I've got eight little blocks and I just think it looks really cute. So I'm making another one of these. Now I did say that I would show you why I'm using this thin fabric now. So this is quite a thick upholstery fabric and I've stitched each of my blocks a one of those and then I've obviously stitched them onto something like this in between and it's making it really it made it quite difficult to stitch it together which is why I've gone thinner this time because you imagine a thickness sort of that thick and you're going through that it it just got a bit wearing on the old fingers but it does make it very squishy you can always pad inside when we put it together well we'll have a look when we put it together in a couple of weeks we will see what it looks like with some padding inside like some felt it may need it we will see i'm not sure but that's what we're making in this little series it doesn't matter which way it goes it's all quite like quite like the lady with the hat um phrase and all i have made one of these blocks for a page whether it's this page or whether it's not again this was a stamped image i just stamped onto this fabric and i've just stitched over the top so and i've used sort of french knots and my sort of weird and wonderful way of trying to do leaves but i may put that on this one i've also got this so you can you can do how your flowers however you like there's no rules we never have rules so not quite sure what i'm going to go on but what i do want to do for something a bit challenging because you know you've got to challenge yourself i don't know how many of you remember my my bit of happy mail from christine i've got it upside down she sent me these gorgeous gorgeous works of art and I absolutely love them and I want to do something like this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe it will be along these lines. It won't be anything like this, let's face it. Um, I quite like these blocks. In <laughs> Look at her tiny, tiny stitches. Oh. Um, and doing circles as well. I never even thought of doing circles. You know, putting things in and going round them. So many new ideas. And it was only because I'd been chatting to her. And we've <laughs> I've sort of like, I'm going to get some inspiration from your work. Because honestly, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely incredible. And I want to do something like this. So I, I quite like this one with the sort of straight bits. I am not going to be turning over all these edges. <laughs> Just telling you now, I am going to be doing my version, which is going to be a bit more shabby chic than these. But I want to try and incorporate, you know, some of the different stitches and things. I mean, guys, look at it. Christine, you are an inspiration absolutely and i am gonna have a go at your beautiful beautiful little things i'm gonna hide mine out the way because <laughs> oh dear yeah not quite the same sort of level but you know she's been doing it for years years i have i've been doing it like a year <laughs> so i think i'm doing all right and I enjoy it, which is the main thing, guys. Enjoy your stitching, whatever sort of level you're at. Now, I've said I'm going to do rows, and what am I doing? Getting out blocks. So, 
I need, I did get some scraps out. Look at me, I've got bits everywhere. So what I think I'll do is make like, um, I'm trying to do something like that. That's my plan. And I've got my little box, box. See there, I've got some more. That's one of my stamped bits and tulips. So I'm going to have a go with them as well. And I've got this to put on one page. So I've got my pages sort of organised. Oh, hello. Here comes the cat. Because, you know, can't do anything without her. Um, hello. Thank you. Yeah, gotta gotta show her face. Let's just get out some bits. I think that might be a bit bright. Um. <laughs> Honestly, guys, can't do anything without her popping her little head up. Um. So let's let's just not get out too much. I'm going to get a bit overwhelmed. Snowbell, you are in the way. What a surprise! So let's make some. Oh, rip it where you cut it, Carol. Rip it where you cut it. She's pestering, pestering. She is. There'll be no, there'll be no stopping for dreamies today. See, I think I can do it like this. I quite like this bit. I want to put on. But it's a block and I'm doing lines. I'm doing lines. Stick to the plan, Carol. Stick to the plan. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and go sort of all the way round. And I might... No, that's not going to rip very nicely. I know that doesn't rip very nicely. Oh, I want a thinner piece. For up here. And shall I tuck that under there? And I quite like the phrase. So <laughs> I'm probably quite not this many. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna see what it looks like. I'm just gonna stitch it all together. Uh, hope. <laughs> That's a good one for me. Let's just hope it turns out okay. So let's have that like that and we just cut it here. So it finishes there and this one comes over there. So we're actually planning. Oh, look at all the threads. So this one's quite pretty as well. Let's get a piece of this. Just using up all my little bits and pieces. I've probably got scraps somewhere that would do. Yes, little pearly, pearly one. Just, just tuck that under. I think it might look quite nice. Like that, maybe. Christine, you'll have to tell me if I'm doing it wrong because I don't know. Right, I've got a gap in the middle and I'm thinking I might put my... I could possibly put this on in the centre and then see if I've got like a flower. Like, oh, I wanted to use this last time, didn't I? What do you think? And I could put this on like this. I think the blue is too much. I might take that blue off. How about this green instead? Tuck that under there and do that. Maybe. What do you think? Does that look like sort of pretty? Right, that's sort of my plan. I like it. This is a bit bright, but 
I can cover that with stitches, I think. Or I could put this over here. This could go over the... I might, I might have a little bit more of a play. So I think maybe like that. Oops. <laughs> it's very fiddly, this. Maybe I put this on one side, not straight in the middle. With some leaves. I might cut it out. Mm, not sure about that. Or I've got this flower that might go on. Which one do you like? <gasps> Which one do we like? I love this yellow daisy. I think it's this that's not doing it for me. So I'm going to take that off. Maybe we'll put this on. And then put my yellow on. <laughs> no, I, I don't like that. <laughs> what am I like? Oh, let's have some of this. This is a bit... You know, you can either be bright or you can be pastel. And I think I'm liking the pastel colour. Now I've got a gap. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> Everything's moving. Everything's moving. Get back. Right, you get the idea. I have no clue what I'm doing. That's my idea. So we're going to put that on there like that. Yep, and the daisy. And I think that that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab some cotton and I'm just going to tack this down. I'm going to, where, where is that stitch? Look at all how many different types of stitches there are on there. I'm trying to do my stitches really tiny, but I I just can't. <laughs> I'm never going to be that neat. Never going to be that neat. And do you know what? That's fine for me. I love the frayed edges and I like my big clunky stitches. Maybe one day I'll I'll want to do little tiny ones. I think that requires a lot more practice than I've got time for. <laughs> so we'll do a quick running stitch. As you can see now, those big stitches that I've put in are holding that all down very nicely. I'm going to go round. I'm going to go round that. Just like this. <laughs> because... There's no rules with my stitching. You can go wherever you like. I'll come back again. And I might just do a few lines. So... Yeah, let me go up to the top and then we'll do a different bit of stitching. Otherwise, you just watch me straight stitch. <laughs> Nobody's learning nothing. Nothing. Out. Some, maybe some blue. I've got some blue. It's dark blue, but, you know. And I think I'll do one of these little <laughs> I've got I've got sort of gaps. <laughs> I'm probably not supposed to have gaps. And of course I've stitched everything, so let's start this end. And I'm gonna do sort of a cross stitch going up here. I've got one strand of thread. I usually have about three. I quite like that. That's neat, isn't it? Look at me. 
but that is only one stitch. It might be a bit of a zigzaggy, a zigzaggy cross stitch. <laughs> actually like it better that way up what do you think that's quite cool isn't it oh put your needle away carol i quite like that let's try some a different stitch now what should we try what should we try next I'm, i don't know what i'm gonna do with this bit in the middle <laughs> i might have to put something on top of that because it's it's looking a bit odd that's way too heavy some lace maybe I've got, I've got some lace. I am going to cover up my writing. I've got some rickrack. How about... Oh. Oh. I think that works. I'm going to just cut a piece of this off and put that on. That was in my sort of laces basket. I'm going to stitch that down. And we're going to use a sort of matching colour, not a contrasting colour. Because I don't really want it to stand out. So let's get this down because that, that sort of, you know when something niggles you? And you're just sort of like, mm, I've got to sort that out <laughs> before I go any further. So we're gonna we're gonna stitch that on and see if I like it. Hopefully I can get a needle through. Just little invisible stitches along there. Because we don't want to see. Great big stitches. You see what happens? And, you know, we're all learning. Well, some of you aren't, but I am. So, it's not it's not stressing me out. It's... <laughs> that bit doesn't stay up there, it will. I mean, maybe I should have stitched down my word first. Oh, I could lower that. I could lower that. That might work. We'll see. We'll see how we go. It'll be what it will be. So now you've seen me make a mess of it. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, stay there. No such thing as a mess. It's a happy accident. Now I've got some rickrack on there. If you enjoy my crazy style of stitching and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and come back and see what else we're up to. Because as I say, I'm experimenting. So there's going to be all sorts, all sorts. Now I quite like that. I may move this down. I'm going to be undoing all these stitches. <laughs> I like it. Okay. I'm going to finish this off tonight while I'm watching TV. And I'll show you the finished one next week. And we'll start on another block. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope it's inspired you to have a go at something a little bit different with your stitching. Bye for now.